Okay, got some new stuff in. Uh, plus, found some old art markers I had. I was really impressed. These old Tombows, I think, were probably bought around 1995 or 1996. And they're still good. They're still wet. All of them have tested. I don't know. I was really impressed by that. So that's cool. Uh, I've lost these for a while. We've been cleaning out a garage and uh, found them. So got uh, got a lot more too. I had a whole large set, um, but I'm mostly just interested in the grays right now. Uh, so that's cool. A little bonus there. Uh, plus, got all this other stuff in the mail. Uh, still waiting on some fountain pens and the uh, fountain pen nibs. Um, I do have this one that I've been using, uh, the, the Flex G nib. Uh, got a new holder for it. Uh, I'll probably mispronounce it. Uh, Tachikawa? Something like that. But very comfortable. A lot better than this one. Uh, of course, you know, I had this other one, and uh, I, I can't get the nib out of this. I could probably soak it or something, but trying to get the nib out actually loosened up the tip, and um, I'd probably repair it with some epoxy and, you know, just a little bit of time. But <clears throat> so. Anyway, I was stuck leaving this nib and this holder, and I really disliked this holder. It made my hand cramp up pretty quickly, uh, so I wanted to get a, a better one. Um, my sister, who's an artist too, she said she had a lot of holders. She could probably hook me up with a few, but I, I still wanted to get you know a, a really nice one uh, for my primary holder. It was only like 7 or $8 on Amazon. Uh, okay, so that off to the side. Uh, I'll probably do another video on these. Um, these seem really cool. Uh, these are used in all kinds of medias. Uh, just a really neat idea. They're, they're basically just fillable brushes, fill fillable brush pens. Uh, I've seen people say that they make the best brush pen they've ever had, uh, just fill filling them with black ink. Um, there's three different sizes in here. Uh, there's several different brands. Uh, of uh, water brushes is what you should look for if you're buying these. Um, these were the most highly rated, and you know Pentel's a established brand. A lot of the others were uh, just you know kind of random. Uh, <clears throat> these just sounded really good as far as control. Like some of the others just said you know they had broken parts and you know, just the, the the quality standards didn't seem to be as high. Uh, these weren't very much more than the others. Uh, I don't know, it just seemed like the way to go with these. Uh, I would have liked to have gotten two of these, I bet, because my plan with them is to fill them with uh, ink wash. And uh, I don't know, like even if I had three shades, which would probably be about enough for me, uh, I would still, I'd still like to experiment with one just as a brush pen. I would like to keep one and just have water in it. Uh, just for you know washing, uh, blend, blending the ink, blending the other you know values together. Uh, I don't know, so I'm not exactly sure what how I'm going to set these three up. Um, if I had more cash, like I say, I would have got six of them, but I just figured this was the more uh, prudent thing to do. Just go ahead and get these and try them out. So I'll, I'll do another video after I get these filled and. Uh, We'll see how they do. Okay, got some super pigmented white acrylic ink. Uh, it's just speedball. Um, pretty sure, yeah. This this can't go in in any kind of uh, fountain pen, but I can I can dip with it. And once I get those other nibs, I can just basically make you know a holder and a nib specifically for white ink. Um, be really good for highlights. A lot better than 
this thing, which, you know, it was all, like I say, it was all right, two or three bucks, but really, comparative, this will be a huge upgrade. This thing's kind of a piece of junk. Uh, okay, so that was about five bucks. The, uh, the aqua sh brushes were, I think, about 13, and you could get, like, the generics for around 10, so, like I say, it's three dollars more for, for, you know, probably a lot higher quality. Okay, uh, so down to my new pens and the inks. Um, this is a Kuretake number eight. These are very popular. Uh, from what I've read, very similar to the uh, the Pentel brush pen, but a little bit smaller, a little bit finer. Uh, for the scale I draw in, kind of, kind of something I realized on this sketch, or you know, I, I, I should say I realized it, but um, really wanted to kind of show is that when I'm working in this scale, I really should be using sh shouldn't be using the brush pen. I mean, it looks okay, but uh, it's if, if you can tell in the video, this is done with a brush pen, and this is done with uh, these these two sketch little sketches are done with dip pens. Uh, over top an ink wash and like the resolution or whatever you'd call it that you know, it's just a lot higher on these the 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 line quality is just a lot crisper um, so that's just something I've been thinking about more and more is uh, kind of like what scale am I drawing in like the, and what tool would be appropriate for that scale uh, I don't know just, you know so what these videos are about, I mean, I'm just really trying to think about the tools and learn about the tools, and, uh, you know, I've pretty much always drawn with cheap pens, uh, you know, uniballs and, you know, stuff like that. Like I say, the Sharpie, uh, the fine point Sharpies, I've always really liked how, how those draw. Um, after this, I'm, I'm putting in an order, order to uh, Jerry's Artorama. Seems like a pretty cool place. My sister, uh, the artist, uh, suggested it to me. It's kind of an arts liquidator. Uh, there's, like, looking at Copic fine liners on there, multi liners, whatever the, I forget the name, but uh, they, uh, pretty cheap. Like, after all the discounts and stuff, I'm going to get them for about $6 a piece. Now, that's about the same as buying a whole set. The whole set, you can get them for about 55 and. I forget what the math is, but it's pretty. I think it comes out to about six dollars a piece if you buy the whole set. Well, I don't really need the whole set. I mean, I I, I don't know specifically which ones I want, but I, I've had technical pens before. I had an old, I had a set when I was younger, um, but I can't, I can't find refills for them. They've they've discontinued the, the refills, and you know I really regret not buying the Copics back then. Because I'm pretty sure everything has stayed standard with the Copics, whereas whatever this other brand that I bought that was cheaper, uh, you know, they discontinued it, and you can't get the you can't get the cartridges anymore. So I, I don't I've tried I've, I've tried refilling those old cartridges too, and you know they've got that uh, like that felt piece in there, and I don't I don't know what that's about, but I can't maybe I should Google it, but I've never been able I've never been successful to refill those. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I've got some copics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some copics too, and uh, you know, just it's, it's gonna be a big step up. I should have no excuses for about equipment anymore. Um, should have plenty of stuff to play with, and uh, really be able to figure out what I like, what circumstances to use, what tool, uh, you know, and really develop the workflow uh, based around that. Okay, so back on point. Uh, Kiriaki number eight, supposed to be a really good brush pen. They use the same cartridges. They use these black, these carbon ink cartridges. Carbon ink supposed to be really these platinum carbon ink. It's supposed to be really good, fast drying, completely watertight. Uh, then compared to this Noodler's ink, um, which I talked about in the last video, there. This is about. These are about. They, they, these come in bottles too. So a, a bottle of this is about twenty dollars for two ounces. The Noodlers was three ounces, and I want to say it was about twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, so it's about double the price for the carbon. Uh, Noodlers is supposed to be really good too. Um, 
it's watertight, it dries fast, but I just read in some of the comments on Amazon that the carbon dries faster. Lefties prefer the carbon, I guess, you know, because however that works, I'm a righty, so I don't really know all the details, but I understand what they're saying. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, it, it'd be inter interesting to try it out, and like I said, my plan is to try to refill these cartridges. That might be a total waste of time. Uh, I've been thinking about it more and more. And it's kind of like if you're getting a lot of runoff and, you, and you're losing ink, uh, then it's not cheap, is it? You know, uh, it's not cheaper. You know, they sell refillable cartridges for these too. From what I've seen, they're a little bit expensive. Uh, you know, maybe like six to seven dollars a piece. Um, I haven't really looked around on eBay. That those were uh, those were uh, Amazon prices. I'm kind of betting you know you, you can get a lot of stuff directly from China uh, at times, and you can get a lot better deal on it if you're willing to wait uh, for the shipping. So I'll look into that too. And I I I think I'm order I ordered some uh, I got a deal like today for those fountain pens I ordered uh, the Jin Hao. Um, but I got 10 cartridges, 10 refillable cartridges, the refillable kind, uh, for a dollar. You know, I just got to wait for them to ship from from China. Uh, being extremely cheap. And and, and honestly, they, they say they're kind of universal. And then I think there's going to be a chance they might fit these too. You know, maybe not. I don't know, but they, they look very similar uh, to, to the refillable cartridges. Not really to these, but, you know, the, they have that little screw part and... Yada yada yada. Okay, so this is a platinum carbon ink desk fountain pen. Um, it is an extra fine tip. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Had to wait about a half a day to play with any of this because I wanted to record it. I've just been working on other stuff, so when I get this done, I get to have a lot of fun and play. Um, okay, so let's see. I don't know, it really doesn't look that much different. Um, but this, the, the, the carbon, this extra fine, has a lot less flex. So, my idea was that this one would be better for, you know, extremely fine detail lines. And the uh, carbon G would be kind of like my next step up, and then the brush pen, next step up from there, and then you know, you start getting into like fatter markers and stuff. Um, and then having some uh, copics, uh, you know, for more precision type stuff, you know, architecture and background kind of deals, uh, where you don't want a lot of line variation, you want to look. Uh, more precise and hard lined. Um, all right, so I guess that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna try all this stuff out and uh, record some of it. And I don't know, probably upload anything that uh, comes out decent. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, you know, I do a lot of sketching with just uh, avoiding. Penciling first, I, I, uh, I don't know. I need to do more of it. You know, I, my stuff always comes out a lot better when I when I take the time. But uh, you know, it's a patience thing. I, I like being able to draw pretty fast and get the ideas out. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, I don't know. Hope that was informational. Uh, we'll see what happens. Try to test this stuff out.